Welcome to this OpenTunes tutorial series. If you don't already have OpenTunes installed, you can check out my other video where I show how to download and install it on Windows. OpenTunes is free and open source software for creating high quality professional animations. It is a very full featured and complex program, but we're going to try and break it down and make it as easy as possible for you to learn and start using. Um, it works on Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'm running it on Linux right now, but it should be the same and behave the same for you on Windows. I'm just going to hit the X right here. And I'm not going to create a new scene or a new project or anything. This is just in uh, what's called a sandbox right now. So I can just sort of play around and do what I want in here. And if yours doesn't look like this exact layout, you can click up on these different tabs here, which toggles between different rooms. These rooms, like I'm going to click on this basic one, and I'm just going to click on a brush and just draw something for an example here. We draw a circle on this canvas. And then if we go to any of these other tabs, we see that same circle. So this canvas that we're seeing, this white canvas, this workspace, is the same thing that we're going to be, uh, we can toggle between. It's just different ways of laying it out. And just about, you could just about work in any one of these um, different tabs and create an animation. But for this first one, this basic one, kind of the timeline, if you will, the X sheet is over here on the right and it goes vertical. If we click on the timeline tab, the X sheet is down here at the bottom and it goes horizontal. And the way to pick and change your color, your different uh, styles, is over here. If we click on drawing, the way to change the color and styles is over here. And we don't have the timeline at all. So there's just some different, um, some different options. And it's all customizable. You can move it around and change it. But for now, I would recommend just coming over here to the basics. Okay, We're going to spend all of our time in the basics in this video. So we have something drawn. And this is actually the very first frame of our animation. So an animation is going to uh, cycle through multiple frames to create a, the illusion of something moving. But what it's really doing is just flashing pictures very quickly to make it look like this this object is moving. So we're going to make this uh, we'll make this circle here maybe shrink a little bit. So to do that, we need to go to the next frame. This is frame one. We're going to draw by hand frame two. So we need to get to frame two first. To do that, just ignore this part that says levels. Uh, ignore this completely and come over here to this. This is called the X sheet and we're going to click on this 2. So right now 1 is selected and it has like a yellow box there and then it has a kind of a gray X. We're going to click on that gray X with our left mouse button and now everything disappeared that we had drawn over here and we can draw something else. So I'm going to draw the circle again but I'm going to try and do it a little bit smaller than I did last time. So now we have a circle drawn here. If we want to get back to see the circle that we drew in the last frame, we can click on 1 with our left mouse button, and now we see this big circle. Click on 2, we see a smaller circle. And we actually have a basic two-frame animation right now. We can hit the play button, and it'll actually play very quickly. So it just goes the big, small, big, small. If we want to loop it back and forth, we can just click this uh, loop button, and it will just play very quickly. It's actually going... 24 the FPS frames per second is happening 24 times right now. So every 20 uh, 24 times every one second it's uh, toggling between those two frames. If we want to add a third frame, we just click over here on three and we draw a third frame. So we'll draw this or a third object in the, the frame. So now we have one, two, three. If we do a fourth, we click on the fourth and everything disappears. We have a blank slate again. We draw what's happening in the fourth. One, two, three, four. So now if we loop this back, it's going to look a little different. It kind of goes down, but it's still happening very fast. If we want to change, we can use this slider here to change the speed. So now it's going to play a little bit slower. This is going to kind of be, if we take this all the way to one, we can type in with our keyboard and hit enter. It'll do one frame per second. And we see it over here, what's happening in our timeline or in our X sheet. It's going. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. So we're, right now our frame rate is 1, 1 frame per second. And so we can speed it up and slow it down over here. I'll speed it up a little bit so it's not so slow. And there we have it, so it's not quite as bad. I'll hit the pause button, and I can just keep going from here if I want. This number 5, I can just do a teeny little thing in the middle there. Now if I want to see, uh, there's a feature called Onion Skin that will actually show us what we had drawn in the previous frame. So now if I want to do number six, it's blank, but I'd like to see like an outline of what was happening in, in frame number five. I can come over here and I can left click. There's this circle that's red on top and green on the bottom. Or I can just left click right here. If I hover up, this little yellow dot appears. I'll just go to frame five and left click. 
And now I can see what's happening in frame five even though I'm in frame six. And if I click on frame five, I can see what's drawn in frame five in black. And in this sort of a light red color, I can see what's happening in frame four. So I can follow up and see what was happening in the last frame. In frame one, there's nothing happening before, so there's no red. But now I can see exactly where this dot is. So if I want this dot to move off the screen to the right, I can just start drawing like this and then click seven and I can see where the last one was so I know exactly where to move it so I can kind of draw a little bit better like this. So we'll just click over here. I'll just very quickly kind of come and we'll make this sort of animate off. And again, I'm not using a drawing tablet. I'm just clicking with my mouse. We're not worrying about color or stroke size or anything. This is just, um, yeah, we're just drawing on this canvas here. If I want to see more of what's happening on this canvas, like I'm almost to the edge, look, this is kind of going off. And we'll just have that be, so this is actually off now. If I hover over the canvas and use my scroll wheel, I can zoom in and out. So I can see kind of what the, you know, this says camera one. So this is what the camera can actually see. So that's all the way off the screen now. And I can go back and click and look at what's happening in any given frame. And if I want to do, you can also do onion frame after. If we come down and hover here, now it'll show what's happening in the next frame in green and what was happening in the previous frame in red and what's happening in the current frame. Just, it's just drawn in there, so I can do that. And there's also an option if you hover over, you can do the past two frames and the future two frames. And I can really get an idea for what's happening here. If I come over in here and just left click in this area where it's under where it says frame, I can actually left click and hold and I can kind of see the animation real, you know, I can sort of like scrubbing, I guess you'd call it. I can scrub through and just see, okay, this is kind of what's going to happen. If I want to turn that onion skin off, this onion skin feature, which shows us the frames before and after, I just come and left click on whichever part I want to turn off and I can turn it all completely off. Then I can just kind of scrub through slowly and see what my animation will look like. If I want to play it back, I just hit the play button. It'll play once and then stop. If I want to loop, I just click the loop playback button and it just plays and loops through. So I'm not going to get too much more. We're going to talk a lot about the different drawing tools. We're going to talk a lot about animation and effects and how to do a lot of different cool stuff, how to, how to change color and styles. Um, it's not necessarily intuitive, but we're going to end this video. I'm going to export this uh, this animation and then I'm going to stop this video and move on move on to the next tutorial. So to render this out we click on file. Uh, we could save our project but I'm not even going to do that. I'm just going to go file and go all the way down to render and click render. That takes a short time because it's not a very long thing and then this is what it brought in. It brought in this whole separate window that I can rescale and we can watch our just like it, just like we did before. This is what it looks like rendered but if we want to save this we can save like any certain picture if we want by clicking this uh, camera button. We can save a, a snapshot or a, an image of what's happening. Um, but to render the whole thing, we go File and we go to Fast Render to MP4. This is going to render it as an MP4 video. So we click that. It does this whole thing. You have to have FFmpeg installed on your computer for this to work. You might get a notice that says uh, uh, an error talking about FFmpeg, especially if you're on Windows and you don't have FFmpeg configured correctly. To fix that, you just go to File and you go to Preferences and you go to Import Export and you have to tell your computer where FFmpeg is installed on your computer. So this is the path you would you go to wherever it's at. If it's in your Downloads folder, if it's installed, um, wherever it's at. But this is where mine is. So if you're on Solus Linux, this is where it's stored. Uh, anyway, and so now this is done. So I can move this out of the way and we'll see what this untitled number two is the video animation. Here it is. And it's just looping over and over again. Oh, let me resize that. So here's this little quick animation we did. We didn't add any audio to it. We just did a quick little animation and exported it as a .mp4 video file. So that is a very quick little run through of Open Tunes. If this looks like something you'd like to invest some time into learning, it is a real full featured professional commercial program that happens to be free and open source, no strings attached. So hopefully you found this video informative. Go ahead and uh, leave your questions, comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.